All right, guys, you know the drill. Exclamation mark, star, uh, play to join. The countdown is on. The race will start in 30 seconds time. And um, the more the merrier. So here we go, the marbles are off, down the pegboard on the way to the first intersection. Who is going to come out on uh, in the lead as we uh, begin race number one in the first Grand Prix? It is Thomas Deacon from Death Wish and Iron Smeltree, Knock and Conclan, Port Ponky and Virtual Knock all the way at the back as we head down to the... Uh, the X split here and uh, Thomas Deacon straight through the pegs. Deathwish, unfortunately, and everybody else is getting really hung up by them. Virtual not manages to find a good line and uh, the order is all thrown up as they make their way down to the uh, turnstile section. Nobody take on the middle route. Thomas Deacon once again straight through here and is heading over to the elevator. Virtual Knock with a good line as well in second position. Deathwish in third. Conclan and Port Ponky come steaming in. Conclan and Port Ponky neck and neck for fourth and fifth. Iron Smeltry and Knock are right at the back. We are heading into the intersection now. It is Thomas Deacon from Virtual uh, Deathwish. Sorry, Virtual Knock. Close behind the group, the battle for fourth between Conclan and Port Ponky is relatively close as we head into the upside down corkscrews here, making sure who are we going to lose here? Deathwish probably going to be off now in his luck, but no, he is still in. And uh, the leaders seem to have got a little bit caught up on the uh, the curb in there. Conclan and Port Ponky had the opportunity to close the gap, couldn't quite make it work. As Virtual Knock and Deathwish are neck and neck, as is Conclan who takes fourth position from Port Ponky as they enter the giant bingo machine, for lack of a better term. Who can come out of here at the bottom first? So it's anybody's game as it twists and turns. Everybody is catching up. I think everybody is now in this machine and everybody is all grouped up together. Who is going to get out first? It is Virtual Knock and Knock. Uh, in first and second, Port Ponky and Conklin still neck and neck, but this time fighting for third instead of fourth as they down, down the downhill section and into the paddle. Still anybody's game here. Deathwish and Thomas Deacon struggling to get out of that uh, bingo machine there as Iron Smeltry is. Knock is through, as is Conclan and Port Ponky. So they are our top three here. Virtual knock a little slow out the paddle section. But uh, Conclan now is into the lead here as he gets a good run and doesn't get held up by the golf tees. And Iron Smeltry is also catching the leading pack here as we make our way round again. Conclan making brilliant work here of those that peg section. It's almost like he's uh, he's raced this track many times before and is a dab hand at it as he is the only one that seems to have navigated his way through there and has now managed to stretch his legs a bit and make his way down the downhill section as we enter the, the final third of this race it is conclan from port ponky iron smeltery and knock on oh, neck and neck virtual lock here though it's planting to take the high road here and motors past everybody here this could be really beneficial as everybody else is getting stuck in the paddle knock and conclan make light work of the paddle though and they are now heading their way down down a spiral and into the penultimate um obstacle here virtual knock seem to lose a lot of speed and he is off we have lost virtual knock knock has taken the lead here from conclan as they go into the final obstacle knock is is going to take this one looks like conclan could hold on to second position as long as there is nobody coming speeding behind i don't think iron smeltry is going to catch him it's conclan in second iron smeltry in third port ponky is navigating his way through the golf tees and over the speed humps now he's going to come home in fourth Deathwish looks to be coming home in fifth and De thomas deacon is quite a way back here could we lose thomas like we did uh, virtual knock let us see as he makes his way down the spiral and yet we have lost him, those two players, to opt in the high road there, losing both of them, which means Deathwish808 is going to come home in fifth position uh, as our last finisher in the race. Knock takes the win from Conclan in his inaugural race there in second position. Iron Smeltry in third, Port Ponky fourth, Deathwish in fifth, and Thomas Deacon and Virtual Knock are our only non-finishers in that race.
No yeets for you for a change, Deathwish. No, that's uh, it's always something positive. All right, how many laps do we want to do? I think we'll we'll cut it down to five laps tonight. I think ten was a little bit too much last night. You want to do twenty-five? I'll tell you what, we'll do we'll do eight. We'll do eight. How's that? We'll do eight, right? Eight laps. Oh, Conklin, you have to do play every every match, by the way. Every race. You don't automatically get included. So it is the we are off in the eight lap race here on laps. And Nock is out in the lead, followed closely by Port Ponky as they come round the banking for the first time. It's Iron Smeltry in third, Deathwish in fourth, and Virtual Nock bringing up the rear at the moment in fifth position as we chase the marbles down the back straight here. It is Port Ponky and Nock who are neck and neck for the lead. Deathwish looks to have a good line here though, and he could steal it. He does indeed. I think he's going to come out on top, though. Speed gets a little bit hampered there, but he is definitely up in second position and he is going to be putting Nock under some immense pressure here um, as we head into lap number two around the banking. Nice line there from Deathwish. Could steal it here from Nock as Nock gets a really poor line and does indeed. Deathwish now our leader. Virtual Nock is going to go past Nock as well. I think Iron Smeltry and Port Ponky could also do the same here. Nock had a really poor run off that banking in lap two and everybody else has really taken advantage as Iron Smeltry gets a relatively good run. I think he's going to lose a bit of speed though off the side here and uh, can't capitalize any further as Nock finds some speed and Port Ponky is bringing up the rear absolutely flying at the moment past Iron Smeltry as we enter lap number three here. A really good line around the banking and down. It's going to give him a nice bit of speed as we head on to the back straight. We'll stay on board here with Pon Port Ponky as he closes in to virtual Nock and Nock in third and second place respectively. Deathwish, though, stretching his legs at the front for now, unless uh, any of the three trailing marbles have got an answer for him. I don't think anyone's going to have an answer for him at the moment, although Virtual Knock is coming up fast as they enter lap four. Virtual Knock does take the lead from Deathwish. What a good run he had out of that final corner. And poor Ponky there, you just saw him come steaming in. Look, he's really trying to get back into this one. He is now up to third, pos third position and chasing down Deathwish 808 for second position. But Virtual Knock looks to be stretching his legs. We said that about Deathwish on the final lap, but it only takes one marble to get a good exit off there, as Nock did. Nock looked like he got a nice bit of speed there, but we come over the finish, the start finish line here to start lap number five. And uh, Deathwish and Nock now are the two that are battling it out for third position, uh, second and third position. Port Ponky and Iron Smeltry hasn't really got into this one, but you never know, he might have a late charge in the closing few laps here. But it's Virtual Knock from Knock, Deathwish808 in third position, who is uh, going to be coming under pressure in a minute. He's putting Knock under pressure, and Deathwish is now our leader here. He streams into the lead as we enter lap number six with three to go. Him and Knock now are the two that are neck and neck. But it's like I say, you know, it only takes a good run off that final corner, and you can get some good speed up, and you can be right back in it. So although Iron Smeltry looks to be quite far behind at this moment in time, don't write him off just yet as uh, Deathwish now down to third as Virtual Knock and Knock both got good runs there and are now in first and second, demoting Deathwish to third place. Port Ponky is, I thought he was looking good there with a nice bit of speed. Unfortunately, he couldn't carry on as we enter the penultimate lap. It is Knock from Virtual Knock, Deathwish in third, Port Ponky in fourth position as he comes around the banking. Can he make any ground here up on the leading three? He looks to be closing the gap on Deathwish and is going to be taking that position from Deathwish. Deathwish down to fourth. Poor Ponky in third, but it is Knock against Virtual Knock as we come off the final corner for the penultimate time and crossing the start finish line here for the penult for the final lap. Sorry, not the penultimate lap. It is Knock stretched his legs over Virtual Knock here as we enter the banking on the first corner for the first time. The final time. Sorry, I'm getting all confused and tongue tied here. As uh, Knock looks like he's going to take this unless it's one of these other marbles can have a serious charge in the final stages of this race. Poor Ponky is trying to come back at Virtual Knock, but 
It is Knock. Virtual Knock looks like he's going to try and put Knock under pressure as we head down to the finish line. It is going to be neck and neck between these two. And Knock takes it from Virtual Knock. Poor Ponky in third. Deathwish coming home in fourth. And unfortunately, Iron Sonoshi just did not get into that race at all and comes home in fifth position. <laughs> Iron got well and truly smelted. Fifteen seconds to the off. You want to get in? Exclamation mark. Play to join the race. We're off with race number three here in the Grand Prix. This is the Marble Mill and all of our players head in to... This rather nice looking uh, map here. I really like the art style of this map, but it's Thomas Deacon who is down first. Virtual Knock with a bit of speed, but they are now going back up again. And Knock seems to be the one who is stretching his legs at this moment in time. He is out the uh, pegboard section and making his way to the first intersection and has made it through cleanly. Virtual Knock is following it in second, although he hits some pegs. Thomas Deacon now with the opportunity in third position to catch Virtual Knock, but it's Deathwish who capitalizes as Nock is flown through the map down a funnel and is really rocketing on here. He took the optimal line here. The, the left-hand line looked to be the fastest, but don't write anything else off. I think we just lost Deathwish. We lose Deathwish. I think we did. Yes, I just saw him yeeting past me. Thomas Deacon has really closed the gap, though. He is on the elevator now, putting Knock under some pressure. Virtual Knock in third. Iron Smeltry and Port Ponky are bringing up the rear right now as Knock has entered the spiral section here. Uh, Thomas Deacon really struggling, though, to get out of the elevator, and that's given Iron Smeltry and Port Ponky have really closed the gap here as... Um, Knock is heading down to the second set of elevators are coming towards the end of this race. Thomas Deacon is in second out of the elevator. Finally, around the spirals, Virtual Knock is in third position. Iron Smeltry is out and Port Ponky is having a real hard time getting out of that elevator. But now it's Knock's turn to struggle. He is out of the elevator now, though, but Thomas Deacon is on the low road. Can he go over the water wheel here without falling off the map? Knock is over the bumps. He is into the final pegboard section. Can he get a good run? No, he cannot. He has been hampered and he is kicked off the map, is he? Yes, we have lost Knox. So that promotes Thomas Deacon into the lead and he is going to snatch it at the death here. Thomas Deacon coming over the line, takes the win from Virtual Knock. As long as he doesn't get popped off the map, he doesn't. And Virtual Knock is down in second position. Iron Smeltry and Port Ponky, your remaining racers here. Now, can Iron Smeltry manage to keep it on? He can indeed. He's through the pegs and he comes home in third. And now it's just Port Ponky to come home over the line. As long as he doesn't get uh, booted off at the last minute, he doesn't. And he is going to come home in in fourth position but it's thomas deacon who takes the win here in race number three <laughs> yeah not got proper brexited man Still can't see what? What can't you see? Did the stream go down? Uh, didn't lose any frames. Weird. Okay, Twitch being Twitch, I guess. Time for race number four here. We are off the rails as our racers head down the Blinko board there into the slalom of bumps and uh, quite a nice looking uh, colourful map here. We have 
on off the rails. There's some thin lines though here. You gotta be very careful not to go off the edge, but we have our first couple of marbles who are out of the initial section. It is Thomas Deacon, Deathwish and Port Ponky who are your three leaders at the moment. Virtual Knock and Knock are both out as well as Conkland and Iron Smeltry are trundling on behind as our racers head down now into the spiral sections. And uh, it's gonna take a little bit of a while here for everybody to iron out. Everybody's got spirals at different sections, but your top four at the minute are Virtual Knock, Thomas Deacon, Paul Ponky, and Deathwish. Virtual Knock is down through the funnel here and he is into the spiral section. And uh, he's got quite a considerable lead here over Thomas Deacon and Deathwish, who are almost neck and neck at this point. Thomas Deacon just got the edge. Conclan is coming steaming back, though, at the races here. And it's now Iron Smeltry, who is way back at the bottom. Virtual Knock, though, is through the next section into the panel and gets shot over into the cannons and uh, into the... Um, unforgiving blockade there things looking good at the moment for virtual knock as he heads down into the final area here he is heading through surely he is going to come home with a considerable lead there actually we've lost him at the moment he absolutely bottles it and that leaves this race wide open uh, between thomas deacon deathwish and knock at this moment in time uh, conclan is coming back but now it's knock's turn over the bumpy over the bumps can he make it into the exit zone he does indeed not takes match number four thomas deacon and deathwish though are neck and neck four second position deathwish has fallen off we have lost deathwish and Thomas Deacon is in the bowl for second position. Conklan and Iron Smeltry battling it out for third. Who's it going to be? It's Iron Smeltry from Conklan in fourth. And Port Ponky, if he can find his way onto here, will bring it home in fifth position. Huh. Something be having a proper derp tonight, I tell ya. <laughs> oh, more than likely. My internet's probably powered by Brexit, to be fair. I did just reset my power line adapter though, so um, hopefully that sorts some issues. Would you believe me if I said I won, Thomas? <laughs> We are underway here for race number five, the halfway point of the first Grand Prix of the evening. We have got a marble stuck there by the looks of it. It looks like Deathwish doesn't want to take part in this race at all as their competitors are out of the pegboard now with the exception of Deathwish and making their way down to the paddle. It's Iron Smeltry with a perfect line through the paddle section as does Conclan. So it's Iron Smeltry from Conclan with the battle for third looking to be in Thomas Deacon's favour. At this moment in time, Iron Smeltry with yet another perfect line, as is Conclan. These guys have really got some good lines through the paddle section here. Virtual Knock and Thomas Deacon are pretty much neck and neck for third position. Deathwish, unfortunately, is well and truly out of this one. He just didn't want to get out of that peg section at all. But it's Iron Smeltry just slightly ahead of Conclan at this moment. Thomas Deacon and Knock are neck and neck for second, uh, third position. I apologize. Conclan, though, caught up on the paddle and now is making his way backwards. Iron Smeltry in the next paddle. 
paddle section is going along really nicely at the moment. Action a bit further back. Uh, Nock and Thomas Deacon have caught up to Conklin, who is still struggling here. He is all the way back here at that paddle section. And uh, they are really causing havoc for the racers here. Uh, uh, sorry, Iron Smeltry is into the final cross paddle section here. Got to watch out though. He is going backwards as Virtual Knock is now into the second section as is Conclan. And Conclan gets a great boost there into the final section. And it's Iron Smeltry and Conclan who are there together as we make our way down to the final section. It is going to be neck and neck. We're going to slow things down here. Let's come into the bowl. It's going to be Conclan, though, who takes the win from Iron Smeltry. He comes in at the last minute and steals the win. Thomas Deacon there is going to bring it home in third position by the looks of it, ahead of Virtual Knock. Knox, Skinny and Mr. Clays here are fighting out for fifth and sixth position. And uh, poor Ponky seems to be a long way back there. He's really struggling to get out of that section. But Knock is through the final cross paddle section. And poor Ponky finally dropped out the funnels here. And he is all the way back at the beginning of that section. But, um, yep, Knock comes home in fifth. Poor Ponky could take sixth, though, from Mr. Clays if he continues to struggle to get through this um, cross panel section. Poor Ponky with a, a good little boost there. Can he capitalize? He can indeed. And Mr. Calais has been really struggling here. He's going on his way back to the second area. But poor Ponky is going to take sixth position from Mr. Calais right there. And um, yeah, he's really struggling there to get through this section. Every time he goes forward, the paddles are pushing him backwards. So um all right, we'll call them washing machines from now on. He's finally out of the washing machines and over the bumps, making his way to the final uh, blockers section. Could get booted off. Doesn't know, uh, but that sees the end of the race. And uh, it is Conklin who takes the win from Iron Smeltry and Thomas Deacon. What does um what does I do, Deathwish? Just to have interest. Five seconds to the off. Ah, okay. Away we go for race number six. This looks like a Dyson cordless vacuum as we start off and head down into the vortex here. Virtual knock is down and Port Ponky actually got the best line here. So he is going to be leading our marbles out here as he enters the twisty turny section. We've got some portals on this one that the, the racers have got to be wary of. But um, it is Port Ponky leading the way through the chicanes here, followed by Thomas Deacon and Virtual Knock. Mr. Calais in fourth, Deathwish and Knock bringing up the rear in fifth and sixth position. Port Ponky is the first here who's going to head into the obstacle section here. We've got some turnstiles, some breakable blocks, some portals, and we've got some speed ramps. So you've got to be very careful which line you choose. Port Ponky has slowed it all the way down there from that first turnstile. It looks like a couple of them are going to hit that and it's going to slow them down. Port Ponky there. I think he found a portal. Whereabouts does that put him? It has put him straight to the exit. Oh my goodness. Poor Ponky with an absolutely immense, we, <laughs> an immense start there. And he just absolutely flew to the exit there. And um, yeah, poor Ponky certainly knows the hacks. I can only imagine he uh, found one of those speed ramps and found his way to that portal up in the sky. But further back, the uh, action continues. Thomas Deacon making his way to the elevator here, but everybody else is struggling to get out of the paddles here. Deathwish looking for redemption from that previous race, but uh, it's Virtual Knock now who is taking third position. Thomas Deacon enters the chicanes, and uh, barring a major disaster on that intersection, you've got to imagine he is going to take second place. Virtual Knock finally out and up into the elevator section. Let's just watch as uh, Mr. Clayson and Deathwish are still trying to get out here. And I think the blue light is going to catch them up. If they do not hurry up, they are going to be 
DNFing here. Virtual knock, not really with any pace here to challenge Thomas Deacon. So Thomas is going to bring it home in second position. But uh, Deathwish has been caught out though. He is out as is Miss Glacier. Miss Glacier is fighting the light. Virtual knock though is in third. Is going to bring it home as our last competitor here. Unfortunately, we lost everybody else. So it was Paul Ponky with the win with what was quite an amazing yeet to skip out half of the map. Thomas Deacon and Virtual Knock, your only three finishers here with Mystical Ace, Deathwish and Knock all losing out in race number six. Is there a replay feature? I don't know if there's a replay feature, is there? I don't tend to look at the other options down the left-hand side, to be honest. Come clan, if you want in, you got 10 seconds, buddy. I just saw you sort of flying through the air, poor Ponky. It was quite mad. And away we go with Mountain Mingle here as our racers are down into quite an interesting start. They're going to go down and then back up in the elevators and then they're going to find their way through this um, Plinko area here. And uh, it's Knock and Thomas Deacon who are our first two marbles down. Who is going to get the optimal run though? It is Thomas who is on fire at the moment with his second place he's looking to follow that up with a win Deathwish looks to be in third although Conklin has just stole that caught Paul Ponky and Deathwish neck and neck for four virtual knock and Mr. Ace are neck and neck for sixth and seventh respectively but they're into the pendulum section here and um, knock now is in the lead from Conklin and Thomas is down to third with Paul Ponky fourth Deathwish fifth Virtual Knock and Mystical Ace both still behind in 6th and 7th position. And uh, they are exiting the elevators here. Conklan and Knock are out of the elevators round the circles. Knock is heading down to a uh, bump section. Conklan navigates it really well as they now enter the spiral. I think Conklan is a slightly ahead of the pack here as Port Ponky overtakes Knock and Deathwish is right on their heels here to uh, also challenge the top three. Thomas Deacon has dropped almost to the back here. He's had a really poor section but at the bottom of this spiral we've got some funnels and then we are heading on down into a paddle section so still anybody's game as Conklin is our first marble here to drop out I think as long as he doesn't get hung up in the funnel. He doesn't. He's out and um, looking to build a bit of an advantage. Miss Clace now is right up there challenging for second position. Conklin is through the chicane and is about to drop down here into the, uh, the coil. He gets a good paddle section and he is through the coils and he is making his way to the intersection and he is on his way down to the loop. The loop, it is Nock who is in second at the minute from Port Ponky. Mr. Glace now in fourth. Thomas Deacon fifth, Deathwish sixth and Virtual Nock is trailing behind in final position. But Conklin is through the loop the loop and can he get another good paddle section it looks like his momentum is going to be hampered and yes unfortunately for Conklin he is the wrong side of the paddle and he's going to make find his way going backwards but it is Port Ponky, Knock and Mystical Ace who are now our top three Conklin really having a hard time there and um, Port Ponky is zooming his way once again he absolutely flies down the final section into the winner's uh, circle there Mystical Ace just ahead of Knock Knock had some real big speed there right at the end Conklin is coming home in fourth position somehow we have lost Death Wish and Thomas Deacon again apologies for missing that but virtual knock is now off again so we've only got four finishes in this race it was poor Ponky who took the win there from Mystical Ace knocking third and Conklan in fourth position I just don't think this is your game Death Wish <laughs> I don't think this is your game, my friend. Hey, Sonny's joining in. Welcome, Sonny. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Man, we've always got 10 marbles. What is this? What is this? This is crazy, crazy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Away we go for race number eight as we enter the rainbow colored pegboard, which is going to take us down into a triple turn style to uh, start us out here as we head down to the Marbles Diner. It is Iron Smeltry from Deathwish and uh, Sunny is out there, but a couple of them getting hung up on those turnstiles. But our top three remain our top three as everybody else is trying to navigate their way around. Everybody else. Has, um, has got through now. It's Thomas Deacon and Virgin Lock at the back though, but uh, we head through the diner section here. As uh, This is a pretty nice looking map, I'll be honest. A lot of effort has gone into this one. Port Ponky and Sunny must have found a speed boost there as a couple of them, Deathwish and Iron Smeltry, are stuck on the wall at the back. But uh, Sunny and Port Ponky now are your, uh, are your leaders here and they are the ones that are fighting for the lead as they go down the stairs and make their way down towards another turnstile section. Things are going a bit bumpy there, but they have definitely pulled out a considerable lead over the rest of the field here as Thomas Deacon now in third being chased down by Conklan as they go down the stairs, but it is still sunny from Port Ponky. But Thomas Deacon looks like he's had a better section there than Conklan and stretched his legs just slightly, but the race for third is definitely still on. We concentrate on our leaders though, as Sunny and the Port Ponky are straight down the middle. They are going to go flying though in a moment. They are back towards the funnels. Sunny still leading from Port Ponky. Port Ponky looked like he got quite a bit of speed there, but it, they are still pretty neck and neck, as are Thomas Deacon and Conklan who are also entering the funnel. I think Thomas there got a really bad run though. It looks like we have lost him. We have indeed. So it's now Conklan in third position. Looking a bit further back, it's Nock from Mystical Ace, Iron Smeltry, Deathwish and Virtual Nock all in a group there at the back. But Sonny is coming through here to the final sort of Ferris wheel sort of thing. He finds the holes, no issues there. And Sonny is going to come home for the win. We've just lost Nock. Nock is yeeted off the map. Conklan is in second position now. Can he find his way down there? He does indeed, finally. Can he get a good run through here? He doesn't get as good a run, unfortunately, as Sonny did. And he is really struggling through here. That's going to give Port Ponky a chance to catch back up. And Port Ponky looks to have found the run. He has. Port Ponky is through. And he takes second position. Conklin really struggling, though. He is fine. The line. We've lost Thomas Deacon as well. Apologies for missing that one. But uh, your top three are Sonny, Port Ponky, and Conklin. Miss Clace is coming home now in third Fourth position, sorry. Iron Smeltry making his way right here to a little maze carousel kind of thing over there. But uh, right at the back, it is Deathwish and Virtual Knock. Deathwish probably going to get booted off the map. No, he finds the funnel. It's Virtual Knock who is going to get booted off, though. We have lost Virtual Knock, and it is Deathwish now making his way in final position for sixth place. Miss Glace has just come home in fourth. Iron Smeltry now with a good run through the final section there. Home in fifth. And now we just wait for Deathwish 808, our last competitor here, who is um, really struggling here, as you can see. And Deathwish is out of time, it looks like. So Sunny is your winner here as um, Port Ponky and Clonclan. Clonclan? Clonclan? <laughs> Clonclan take second and third respectively. We lost Deathwish, Virtual Knock, Knock, and Thomas Deacon from that race. Yeah, not in Conklin if you want to get in on this one. Hmm. Doesn't seem to like you sometimes, Conklin. Don't know what's going on there. There's plenty of time in my opinion. Anyway, we're on with the penultimate race of the first Grand Prix of the evening as we enter the factory here. 
Again, another similar start to what we've seen before, a drop down either side, elevator up, and then through a Plinko section. But you've got to imagine we're going to see some carnage here as we enter this big section here in the middle. Uh, we've got some hammers are rolling, and uh, we can imagine it's all going to get a little bit crazy here. But uh, in the early stages here, relatively grouped together. It's Nock from Thomas from, uh, Virtual Nock, sorry, from Thomas from Nock. Mr. Clay's Poor Ponky, Sunny Deathwish, and Iron all grouped nice and closely together here as they enter down into the turnstile. We've lost Thomas. He's fallen through the gaps here and uh, he is out. But our top four are pretty much neck and neck as we head into the elevator section and Port Ponky brings up the rear just behind Iron Smeltry and Deathwish 808. So it is time for the carnage as we enter the swinging hammer section. We're going to see marbles go everywhere. Knock is booted up to the side. We've just lost Sonny. Virtual Knock is out at the front though. Deathwish safely manages to navigate it, which is quite surprising. I will be completely honest, but it's Virtual Knock from Iron Smeltry and Deathwish as they enter the spinning funnel here. Iron Smeltry's just been lost. We've lost him. So Virtual Knock in the lead. Deathwish is now promoted to second place. We've got Port Ponky and Knock. Can they make it in? They can indeed. So that's your battle for third as Mystical Ace comes absolutely flying in too hot and he is out of the race now as well. But Deathwish and Virtual Knock are uh, hung up on the exit of the turnstiles. Knock gets a relatively good run, not held up too much. And uh, Port Ponky now in fourth position. Only four runners left in this race. We are into the spiral intersection section. Easy for me to say, as uh, Virtual Knock and Deathwish now are their main contenders here for the win. Uh, Port Ponky a little bit behind Knock here, but he's still got time to enter it as we enter the multiple pendulum section. Deathwish trying to attack it with speed, as does Virtual Knock, and Virtual Knock has actually taken it. Um, all of our competitors really with quite a bit of speed there as Virtual Knock is now out in the lead. Got to be careful here not to get caught by one of them as Virtual Knock does. That uh, kicks him out of the map. So Deathwish now takes the lead by default. Can he make his way through? All three competitors are now making his way th their way through as we head to the final section. Knock has lost out. It is between Deathwish 808 and Port Ponky. We're going to slow the action down here. Who's going to cross the line first? I think it's going to be Deathwish. It is Deathwish 808 who takes the win in from Port Ponky and Knock is going to come home in third position. Finally, Deathwish can stop moaning that he never wins anything. <laughs> All right, 30 seconds to the start of the final race of the Grand Prix. Getting on the action. Deathwish kind of wins by default because everybody else pretty much fell off the map. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm from England. I'm from England, uh, Thomas. I'm from the the nice little town of Boston in uh, the Midlands. Race is underway and Deathwish using the hack straight away to completely skip out the vortex here. And um, he is looking to keep his winner's crown from the previous race. And uh, all the others are just trying to make their way through. Iron Smeltry is in second at the moment, but... Um, Deathwish here <laughs> with the hacks. He is way out in front. He just found the most optimal line through that vortex. Iron Smeltry there in second as we head a look a bit further back. The battle for third is between Mystical Ace, Virtual Knock, and Knock himself with Thomas Deacon, Sonny, and Port Ponky out at the back. Deathwish is going around the spiral sections here, really stretching his legs as he makes his way. He's going to go over a speed rump and then over onto the... Um, the bump section here, Iron Smeltry looking, uh, charging back a little bit. He's had a relatively good run and it's brought him relatively close behind Deathwish. But um, Deathwish still holding himself here, stretching his legs as he enters the sieve here. 
And can he find a good line down, or is he going to be pinging around here as karma for finding a good line down the full? Iron Smeltry is now catching up, but Deathwish is going to find that central hole. What sort of run, though, can Deathwish get, uh, Iron Smeltry, sorry, get through here? He gets a relatively good run, and that's surely going to make him catch up a little bit as they are both now on the second vortex of the map. It is Mystical Ace in third with Knock and Virtual Knock chasing very quickly behind Port Ponky and Sonny, followed by Thomas at the back. But uh, Deathwish and Iron Smeltry are now going round and round the Vortex as Nock looks to be hitting those. No, Mystical Ace who hits the Vortex first out of that chasing pack for third. Deathwish is down and he is on his way. Uh, if I can get a camera angle on him, he is round the circle, round the bends, and he is on his way down to the final section here. If he can miss the second intersection, then surely he's going to take back-to-back -back victories here on the final race, final two races of the Grand Prix. He's got a good one through, run through the first, good run through the second. Can he hold it on, or is Iron Smeltry going to find a bit of speed here to take it away from him? No, he is not. Deathwish 808 is going to come home and take back-to-back -back wins here at the end of the Grand Prix with Iron Smeltry in second. Looks like he's going to be unchallenged. Paul Ponky looks unchallenged also for third position as Nock is now in fourth. Mystical Ace in fifth. Those two could still get a bit of... Uh, have a bit of a confrontation here. Mr. Glace with a good line through. Can he take it? No, he can't. Knock holds on for fourth. Mr. Glace in fifth. Thomas Deacon looks to be challenging virtual knock, though, for sixth position. Who is going to get it? Virtual knock hangs on to sixth. Thomas in seventh. And Sonny comes home in eighth position. So that brings us to the end of our first Grand Prix tonight with one more to play. Let's take a look to see who is out. Who are, sorry, our top three marbles. In third position, we have Iron Smeltry. Nock is in second position and Port Ponky retains his crown from the previous Grand Prix. I'm sure he won the last one. GG Port Ponky, you come home in first position. I think it's because you got so many wins in the first. I think you got so many wins in that for early section, in those early stages. Conklan on his first Grand Prix comes home in fourth. Deathwish, despite being kicked out from quite a few and those back-to-back -back wins really helped him out and put him in fifth position. Thomas Deacon sixth. Virtual knock seventh. Sonny who joined right at the end there uh, in eighth position, but it's Mystical Ace without a win to his name comes home in ninth position. I thought Paul Ponky took some. My mistake. Alrighty then, let's set up another one. You know what to do. Vote and a number to vote for a map. I'm going to go and refill my water and then we will uh, jump into Grand Prix number two. Anti All right, you can vote between uh, 1 and 1,175. Go for it. Go, go, go. Uh, I've already got that one, Mr. Clay, so you might want to cast a different vote. 66 is... Wonderful Rainbow Jump. If 
You, um, if you can't vote again, Mystical, if you give me another number, I'll just randomly add that one. Sonny, you've already had a vote. 83. All right, I'm about to add randoms. So if anybody else wants to vote, get it in quickly. Right, so I'm gonna just fill it out with random maps. Oh, death wish out. All right, you know what to do. Exclamation mark play if you want to get involved. We start the second and final Grand Prix of the evening. Deathwish trying the turbo hacks there, but it's not going to help him as we start the Grand Prix. And oh my goodness, what have we got here? This is quite something. As uh, I'm not really sure what's going on, but they're all going up and down. And uh, well, it's all a marble there, zooming off into the distance. But uh, we are out, and it is Bot Ponky who is leading from Deathwish at the moment with Thomas Deacon. And Mystical Ace, our leading for the remaining four, are really slow to get out of that initial early section. But uh, Port Ponky is your leader here from Death Wish and Mystical Ace. Thomas Deacon getting hung up on some of the uh, obstacles there, and that's really putting back. But Port Ponky has found a great line through that um, Ferris wheel there and is into the elevator, followed by Deathwish and Mystical Ace, but uh, they are quite some way behind at this point in time. Although we have seen before, some of these marbles take a little while to get out the elevator. Poor Ponky has managed to hang on to his lead. Deathwish is next, and uh, Mystical Ace drops out following Deathwish, but we've got a real weird setup going on here. Deathwish has found the hacks. He has got the shortcuts once again, and he is making his way through the spiraling tunnel. But Mystical Ace there picked up a bit of speed as they enter the washing machine, I guess we would call this. I don't really know what you want to call it. But um, yes, Mystical Ace is dropped out the bottom, and it looks like he is going to go around the final spiral section here and take the win unless Deathwish can pull back some sort of speed, but no, it is Mystical Ace who takes it from Deathwish in second. Knock jumps ahead of Iron Smeltry. There's going to be neck and neck here for third position. Who is going to take it? Iron Smeltry manages to come back and hold on for third, knocking fourth. Thomas Deacon is going to come home in fifth position, followed by Sonny in sixth, Port Ponky in seventh, and um, Virtual Knock, unfortunately, is going to bring up the rear in eighth position yeah i called it a bingo ball before but or a bingo machine but i didn't i don't really know what to call it what i do know though is mr clace is your winner in race number one The rainbow track reminds me of Rainbow Road in Mario Kart. <laughs> And away we go for race number two in a rather pink themed poker ball peg sort of area thing going on here. And um, our first marbles are out the peg ball and it's Nock who is stretching his legs from Mystical Ace. 
who actually gets a much better run than Nock, and um, Nock has been caught napping there. Mystical Ace takes the lead from Virtual Nock. He manages to hold on to third at the moment, though, but Iron Smeltry, Deathwish, and Sunny are right behind with Port Ponky and Thomas Deacon all the way at the end there as they enter the um, corkscrew, I guess we'll call that. I don't know what to call it. Anybody else got any better name? Please do let me know, but... Uh, yeah, Mr. Clay's holding his honey here from Deathwish, who is neck and neck with Virtual Knock. The, not the leading three breaking away from the rest of the pack here, but we are entering a very dangerous section here and uh, don't want to get caught up on one of them pegs. As Iron Smeltry just has, will he be able to stay in? He does! Iron Smeltry there with the absolute hacks takes the win from Deathwish. Steals it just when you thought Deathwish was... Um, on for it there. Everything has happened ever so quickly. Virtual Knock looks to come home in third. Mystical Ace in fourth. Paul Ponky just from Sunny there. Knock down in seventh. And Thomas Deacon finishes our runners there in eighth position. Iron Smeltry, I tell you what, man, you was you was close to a world record there. Almost uh 2.4 seconds off the world record there. <laughs> yeah, he was massively punted there by the uh, the golf tee. Massively. And it's uh, Portal's Fast Crossing here as we made into a peg ball that we can't really see here. But um, who is going to be out into a portal first? It's Paul Ponky from Death Wish with Knock. And everybody's out of the portals here. It's a little hard to see who is out in front. I think it's Knock and Iron Smeltry who are our leaders now. I don't know what's happened to Paul Ponky. Where did Paul Ponky end up? I don't know. He may have been really unlucky here. Uh, I can't see him anywhere. Uh, we've just lost Nock, though. Nock's just dropped off the face of the earth. Uh, oh, there's Paul Ponky. is in third. And um, Iron Smeltry's out in the lead at the moment. Deathwish in second. And then we've got a close battle for third between Virtual Nock, Paul Ponky, and Thomas Deacon as they out of the tunnel here. And um, you've got to hope you go the right way here, surely. They are slightly angled down here as... Um, the leading two are still Iron Smeltry and Deathwish, Virtual Knock and Thomas Deacon. Paul Ponky's in there as well. They're all pretty neck and neck with Mystical Ace and Sonny at the end here. But uh, they're entering a loop the loop section. Who is going to get a good run through here? Paul Ponky has snuck through there and looks to be stealing the win here. Where did he come from? Who knows? But he is going to drop down into the winner's ball and takes the win. Deathwish is putting Iron Smeltry under some immense pressure here. Who is going to drop out next? It's Deathwish from Iron Smeltry and Mystical Ace comes home in fourth position. Virtual Knock looks to be fifth and the uh, battle here for sixth is going to be won by Thomas Deacon. And it's Sonny who is going to come home in final place here to finish the race in seventh. Going on there, Sawyer breakdown, breakdancing walrus. I will refer to you in commentary as walrus. <laughs> Hope that's okay. Welcome along, though. Hope you're well. You got this one, Thomas. I believe. I believe. Uh, I don't know. I don't know a lot about that. Maybe Deathwish or somebody can answer that question for you. 
And we are off. We are off down the pegboard here and uh, our races are going to be split side by side here as um, Nock is taking an early lead from Thomas Deacon who is neck and neck there with Sawyer uh, breakdancing Walrus. I know I said I was going to call him Walrus but I do apologize it just sort of came out that way but um, Port Ponky is taking the high ground while everybody else has taken the low ground here, but he is now stuck on the zigzags as Knock Mystical Ace. Every ball of our races really are just trying to navigate their way through the bumps here as um, Knock and Deathwish are now through and onto the water wheel here. Urcha Knock is joining them and they are our top three. Port Ponky is starting to gather some, mem some momentum, sorry, on the higher ground and you've got to think that if you can navigate that through he's in good stead while the others climb up the spiral elevator it is now Deathwish though from virtual knock with normal knock following closely behind Deathwish is around the spiral section they're coming down the stairs he is neck and neck here with virtual knock what we've got to see here though there is some debris can Deathwish avoid the debris as we slow things down here i think the two races are going to get held up here and um it's now anybody's game. Nock is coming in to steal the win. No, he is not. Thomas Deacon, though, is uh, looking like he's going to come in and steal this one. I thought that was the end, so I do apologize. But uh, they enter the final vortex section. I think Thomas Deacon must have taken a high road, much like Port Ponky. But Nock is next to drop, and he gets an absolutely perfect line there. Straight down the middle, straight into the exit bowl. And Nock is your winner here. Virtual Knock and Deathwish are following neck and neck, though. Who is going to drop the first? It's Virtual Knock in second with Deathwish third, Warus in fourth, Mystical Ace fifth, as Thomas is still trying to navigate the... Uh, he's still trying to navigate this uh, twisty vortex here, and Port Ponky just has no speed whatsoever. He's got to have hit every single obstacle there was going, you have to think. But I think Thomas has finally found his way down. He has, and he has finished in sixth position. Port Ponky now is our sole remaining uh, marble here as he is making his way round. And he is coming home here in seventh and last position. Just one DNF in that one. It was sunny, but it was knock from Virtual Knock and Death Wish. Home in third position. He pressed space bar, but it wouldn't jump. <laughs> uh. Well, if you had my space bar, it definitely wouldn't because uh, my space bar's broke. I think this one's going to be interesting looking at the. Um, Looking at the world record for this one of 32 and a half seconds, I think this one is going to um, fly by, if I'm honest. Yeah, I don't really understand a lot about it either, Mystical. So, I mean, if you've got any tidbits you can share with us and the rest of the uh, the rest of the guys, then that would probably be helpful. But away we go for race number five, marking the halfway point. The races are straight down and uh, into a, uh, a golf tee there, Sonny finds the optimal line for a start, it would seem. But the others have found a different one, and that's really hampered Sonny. It is Port Ponky who is stretching his legs straight down the middle on the optimal line here. And um, I don't think we're going to be anywhere near a world record here, but you can... Uh, Anything could happen still. There's Iron Smeltry in second, Virtual Knock in third, Sonny and Thomas right behind Virtual Knock in that race for third. Port Ponky is now down, and um, I think if somebody could find that uh, boost pad there, they would be certainly uh, away, uh, making their way to the front there. Oh, nice, Warus. Nice. Well, thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Port Ponky is uh, casually making his way down, not really under too much pressure. Virtual knock in second, but he gets a bad run there as he is um, going around everything. Knock is steaming through there. Knock got the pace through there, straight over the next bump section as well. He is going around and round, and Knock is now your leader. But Sonny 
and Thomas Deegan and Paul Ponky have just changed all of that by just dropping down. Nock may have looked like he got the advantage for a start getting that speed boost, but everybody else, with the exception of Mr. Glace, has just dropped down into the bump section below. Sonny now stretching his legs. Got to be careful of these popping up golf tees, but Sonny is looking like he is going to take the win and does indeed. Paul Ponky uh, just loses out here at the moment from Nock, but Thomas Deacon has got a good speed boost through this final section. He is going to come home in second. Paul Ponky takes the knock in fourth. Virtual Knock is going to come home in fifth with Iron Smeltry in sixth. And Mystical Ace is coming through slowly, slowly in the final position for seventh place. Did you press it too quickly, Deathwish? Nice one, Sonny. We're on to the second half of the Grand Prix here as our players start in a breakable area and they are all heading down the vortex. We've got one marble who is really stretching their legs. Actually, we've got more than one as um, I was totally underestimating who had actually gone through. I was a little slow on starting following the action there, but it's Sunny and Mr. Glace out in the lead at the moment with Iron Smeltry in third, Thomas Deacon fourth, uh, Walrus in fifth, Knock in sixth, Virtual Knock and Deathwish are at the back, followed by Port Ponky. But we are leading three here, making their way through to the uh, sideways turnstiles here and uh, giving everybody a bit of a chance to bunch up and regroup as we now enter the... Uh, Weird little merry-go-round here. It's going to take a good line to get through here. Iron Smeltry seems to have found it and is entering his way into the zigzag obstacles, going around the outside of them all and making his way to the bingo ball. Thomas Deacon and Mr. Clays in second and third, with Virtual Knock now finding his way, as does Deathwish. Everybody else really struggling to get through that uh, spiral roundabout kind of section as Walrus finally does ahead of Sunny and Knock. Iron Smeltry, though, is way out in the lead as he's making his way round a carousel over to the water wheel. And as long as nothing goes wrong here, he is going to take the win. He is up. He is safe. He is round. He is going to take the win. Walrus has come through, though, out of the... He is really out of the bingo machine here, making his way on the roundabout. Looks like he is going to come through here and take third position as long as he doesn't get shafted by the water wheel. And it was a little bit touch and go there. It's getting pushed back a little bit. But now he is safely now on the water wheel. Mr. Glace looking to try and go straight through that roundabout as Walrus comes home in second. Uh, he wasn't able to do it. Mr. Glace on the water wheel straight first time. Knock finds the optimal line though. And is going to steal fourth position from Virtual Knock. As uh, Mr. Glace home in third. Knock in fourth. Thomas Deacon through now to take fifth position if he can get on that water wheel. He it does indeed. Deathwish and Sunny now are the next ones to join it. Sunny is on. So is Deathwish, and Virtual Knock is uh, slowly getting on, but unfortunately for Port Ponky, actually Virtual Knock has lost it. He has gone off the back, and he is out of the race. Port Ponky, though, as I was just about to say, cannot seem to get out of this bingo ball here. He's finally out down the hill and heading down to the carousel. Can't find an optimal line through, and I think he's going to get trapped inside. No, does manage to find it. Now, can he just hang on here, stay on the water wheel? He does indeed. He is going to come home in eighth position. And um, we just lost the one marble there. Virtual not, but it's Iron Smeltry who takes the win ahead of Walrus with Mystical Ace in third, knocking fourth, Thomas Deacon fifth, Sunny OST in sixth, Deathwish and Port Ponky bring up the rear in seventh and eighth positions. <laughs> That's mad Warus. Jeez. Crazy, crazy. But um 
I mean, I suppose it all comes, I mean, you know, no disrespect, but I suppose it all just comes down to look as well. <laughs> no luck involved in marbles. Okay, we are in the teleporting snowing district here as um, we head on down into uh, quite an interesting start. We've got like a, a pegboard which is on its side, which is not something we usually see. We normally see the vertical ones, but uh, virtual knock and death wish. Death wish is the first one down as uh, everyone is now catching up apart from uh, death wish who has managed to get through quite nicely for a start and he has made his way down to the turnstiles, which knock him backwards for a start. Unfortunately, Fernando Alonso should join marbles. <laughs> oh, yeah, I could just imagine that one, Thomas. Uh, Deathwish out in the lead, though, with Sonny and Mr. Clay's taking different lines here. There's three bingo balls to choose from. Deathwish taking the central route. All routes lead to the end, though, but the central route is optimal as long as you can get out nice and quickly. But Iron Smeltry is down, as is Deathwish now. And uh, sorry, I think Iron Smeltry is down. Mystical Ace and Sunny over on this left hand side here are both down, waiting for the first marble to drop their way out. Who is it going to be? The group in the center are bunching up together, so it's going to help them all drop out as they start to hit each other. I think Thomas Deacon is going to take it, though. He's going to come out through the intersection and he is making his way down now into the next section. Virtual knock, though, neck and neck with mystical ace you got three neck and neck there but thomas deacon has got the best line here through into this final funnel he drops nicely through into the snowflake and um, everybody else now is starting to bunch up as these funnel sections start to join themselves up thomas deacon has lost a bit of pace though through the snowflake as he enters the washing machine here and he is uh Finding the gaps in the washing machine, but uh, he is now unfortunately being pushed back as Virtual Knock makes his way through to the final snowflake in this section before heading on up the elevator. Everybody else though starting to join up. Thomas Deacon has really struggled though through that washing machine. It is Deathwish now who is through the corkscrewing elevator here as Knock, Skitney and Iron Smeltry are right behind them into the second one it's neck and neck for second virtual knock is in fourth uh sunny in fifth at the moment but they're entering the golf tee section here it's going to come down to who can find the optimal line through here knock seems to have done it but we've got portals as well and the portals are going to put you all the way back and that is really unfortunate iron smeltry manages to avoid the portals and is now our leader in first position sunny and port ponky are down into the tees here Iron Smeltry once again going around the edge and he is going to enter this um, vertical section here and just needs to be pushed up now to enter into the sieve before the big spiral section ahead. Sonny makes his way through the first pull section in second position here. Deathwish has dropped to the back. No, Virtual Knock is now at the back. Paul Ponky is also through and Sonny has found his way through the second uh, portal section. Paul Ponky does indeed. Thomas Deacon is down that left-hand side. Mystical Ace looking to follow, or is he going to find the portal? It looks like he's going to follow Paul. He does indeed, and he is back all the way at the start. That's really unfortunate for him. Iron Smeltry, however, is up the second corkscrewing elevator and is now on the final descent down to the cannon. As long as he can uh, keep it together, he is looking good for the win. A few obstacles there to navigate, but everybody else is... A long way back here. They're really struggling to get out of this section as our group here of uh, Paul Ponky, Sonny and Thomas Deacon. We just lost Thomas Deacon from that area, but Paul Ponky and Sonny are now out. Thomas seems to be finding every gap in these paddles, but uh, our real race here is for second between Sonny and Paul Ponky as they're neck and neck going through the corkscrewing screwing, cork screwing elevator section on their way up down to the spirals, but Iron Smeltry is now on his final final he's on his final spiral and as Tom's Deacon is finally now uh, out of the elevator and catching Iron Smeltry now coming down to the final obstacles can he hold it together he has got a bit of an awkward angle through that one 
and uh, he's lost all his speed. It's going to give uh, the others a chance if they've got a good speed to catch him up. He is now caught in Debris. And our race is Port Ponky in second with Sonny chasing him in third position. Deathwish looks to be stuck in that paddle section we saw uh, Thomas Deacon stuck in earlier on. But Iron Smeltry is still going nowhere at this moment in time as Port Ponky now is coming through to the final spiral. And he is about to drop down here onto uh, the intersection right where Iron Smeltry is. Now, can his speed get him through the debris any easier than Iron Smeltry is currently navigating? He's actually got caught up and he's going to lose all momentum here. Sonny, can he do any better? He has managed to keep his forwards momentum, steal second place at the moment from Port Ponky, but Port Ponky has managed to sort himself out. Now, it is Port Ponky right on top of Iron Smeltry here. This is going to be something as we head towards the finishing cannon here. Who is going to take this one? We're going to need to have a real slow, <laughs> a slow one on this one as Iron Smeltry is going to get shot out before Port Ponky. Is he going to land in the bin? He does indeed. Iron Smeltry takes the win from Port Ponky in second. Sonny is going to come home in third. Thomas Deacon recovers for a fourth place finish here. Further back, Deathwish has managed to recover from that early portal and he is going down the spiral section. Whether or not he'll make it to the exit in time or not it is yet to be seen, but he is in fifth at the moment. Way back over here, though, it looks like Mystical Ace, Knock, and Virtual Knock have all been getting absolutely screwed by these portals. Mystical Ace now trying to navigate his way. I think he's going to see his way through, but there we go. Knock hits the portal again and he is all the way back. There is no hope here for Virtual Knock and Knock Skinny. Unfortunately, in this race but uh, Deathwish now making his way to the sidewards turnstile here and he'll make his way into the cannon before taking fifth position Mr. Glace has still got a bit of time here. The, the blue line is, though, catching up here to Knock. Knock is going to be in last place here. Virtual Knock is going to be in seventh. I don't think Virtual Knock is going to be able to um, make any progress here. And I think Virg uh, Mystical Ace here is also going to be catched. Uh, catched. Mystical Ace is also going to be caught here by the blue line because I don't think he's going to be able to get through this section quick enough. It depends how quickly he can get through here. I think he'll get caught in the spirals though. Dude. Even if he's got all the pace to get through this corkscrewing elevator section, uh, he's not going to get down this spiral section fast enough, unfortunately. So uh, Mystical Ace is going to be a DNF along with Knock and Virtual knock in this race but iron smeltry comes through to take the win from port ponky in second and sunny ost in third position Yeah, you still get it. We still get the position, so it doesn't matter. A DNF still gets you the position, so it just wasn't one of the top three positions. <laughs> Away we go for race number eight here, and we are straight down into a vortex. There's no pegs or anything that's going to affect player's trajectory, so the best way down here is to bump into another marble, I think, to just lose everything and drop straight down. Who is going to be the first one down, though, here? As they're going around and round and round, it looks like uh, Walrus and Sunny kind of have the best lines. Although saying that, Mystical Ace is down, and it looks like Walrus is the next one to be there as well. So it is Mystical Ace now from Walrus with Sonny in third, not Virtuanok in fourth, Iron Smeltry fifth, Port Ponky in sixth, and uh, Deathwish and Knock. I think there's some portals here, so it's going to be relatively hard to actually keep track on what is going on and where everybody is. But I assume 
Uh, Mr. Clays is still in the lead at this moment in time, but I'm not 100% sure. Death Wish and Knock are all the way at the back. Sonny is trying to put some pressure. Uh, sorry, Sonny is trying to put pressure on Walrus, who is trying to put pressure on Mr. Clays. Looks like Mr. Clays hasn't had the best of runs through there. And Sonny and Walrus are neck and neck. Iron Smeltry, Verge Knock, and Port Ponky are also neck and neck in the battle for fourth position. Death Wish is bringing up the rear. I don't know what's happened to Death Wish. He's um, quite a way off Verge Knock now, but Mystical Ace is motoring along now. As they all hit the wall, Sunny is now pulling ahead of Walrus in second position. And um, the battle for fourth is still there as Iron Smeltry is in fourth at the moment. Mr. Calais has taken the win from Sunny. Walrus in third. I was a little unsure of where everything was going there. It's uh, Iron Smeltry in fourth. Paul Ponky in fifth. Knock has uh, falling down the order then. Just cannot get through that final section. And it's Death Wish through in sixth. Knock in seventh. Virtual knock is uh, if he ever gets through that portal, will come home in eighth and last position. But at the moment, he deciding he's uh, going to go backwards around the track. This guy wants it to go on forever and ever. <laughs> Mr. Glace, your winner from Sunny and Warus in third position. I like this guy's name, the Knocking Foots. <laughs> uh, I like that. And away we go with the penultimate race of the Grand Prix and of the evening as our Marvels heading down to the center of the Vortex here, who is going to be down first. Everyone's sort of around, going around the edge here. We'll head on underneath to see who emerges first. And it is a closely contested battle. Sonny and Knock out in the lead. Deathwish Mystical Ace in third. Thomas and Iron Smeltry in fourth. Uh, I think I've got my ordering messed up really, <laughs> really quite badly there. Everything's sort of moving around really quickly. And uh, I'm hoping by the time we get down to this intersection here, that uh, everything will start to thin out and uh, be a little bit easier to commentate on. But it's Knock and Deathwish out in the lead. Neck and neck here for first and second. Where are our players going to go? Which route are they going to take, though? As Virtual Knock and uh, Deathwish both are hung up. Deathwish takes the central path, though, straight down the funnel. And uh, second and third here, Knock and Virtual Knock take the paddles as Port Ponky opts for the washing machine here. Deathwish is... Out to the bottom of the bingo ball, he has gone some really good pace here as he's through the corkscrew elevator. And we have, I think, I think Nock is in second at the moment. It's hard to tell at the moment, but we're into the circular maze section here. Deathwish looking for a, just a little tap here, which will give him a nice bit of momentum to get out of here. He does indeed. Nock is through into the section, taking an outside line here. Really good there as uh, he is in second. Poor Ponky in third as they're into the slanted steps here as Deathwish is now into the paddle section looking for a good line. This time we're looking to go through the bottom, not over the top. Deathwish finds his way through and is managing to hang on to this first position. Knock still hanging on in second, although poor Ponky has just taken the lead. Have we just lost Deathwish? Have we lost Deathwish? Where has he ended up? I think we've lost Deathwish. I don't know where he's gone. 
No, we still have Deathwish. I think we've got some portal shenanigans going in. Deathwish, he's, he's homing first. I, I don't know what's gone on there, but Deathwish has taken the win. Sorry for the confusion there at the end. It was Paul Ponky in second. We knock in third position. We've got Walrus here coming through. Can he take third position? He is through a portal. Virtual knock in fourth. Not really sure where our players are ending up here. We just got to wait and see who appears in the winner's circle next. Not going to be Sonny or Thomas Deacon. It is Walrus who is fifth. Virtual knock appears in uh, sixth position. Iron Smeltry is going to take seventh. And then it is between Sonny and Thomas Deacon. I think Sonny is probably ahead at this point in time uh, from Thomas Deacon. And he's actually ahead of Iron Smeltry. So Sonny sneaks in a seventh position there. Thomas Deacon in eighth. And Iron Smeltry, surprisingly, is down in last position. All right, time for the final race of the evening. Final race of the Grand Prix. Get your plays in if you want to be in part of the final race. Mikey's sliding in for the final race. Welcome back, Mikey. And we are in Fuzzy Ducks TV Marble Feeling Stairway here on the final race of the uh, of the evening here. <coughs> Excuse me. And somehow Mr. Clace has hacked his way all the way down here in the bottom of the map. Mr. Clace out in front here at the moment from Virtual Knock. And Iron Smeltry, Deathwish in fourth. We've just lost Sonny. Sonny has been yeeted off the map, it seems. Uh, Mystical Ace, though, is struggling at the minute. He's back in this massive contraption here. Mikey is the next, by the looks of it, who is going to be tackling a portal. Uh, let's see how he can do it, if he can have a better look than uh, Mystical Ace here. He's onto the rising and falling platforms, but uh, not really sure where he is in relation to the actual course here. But... Uh, Seems like he might be in last place because the rest of them are really motoring along here. It's Mr. Ace from a closely contested second, third position. We are entering a circular section here. We are also heading down. And I think Mr. Ace has lost out here. Paul Ponky now is our leader as Deathwish is in second position. All waiting for these guys. They all seem to be stuck on the wall at the minute. Paul Ponky is flung across here to the turning uh, vortex followed by virtual knock knock thomas deacon a mystical ace iron smeltry and uh, i think we've lost mikey there somewhere unfortunately mikey has been yeeted out of existence in this race but thomas deacon has won the race we've totally missed that one i do apologize the exit wasn't very clearly that was a real neck and neck there for third position but mystical ace manages to hold off against iron smeltry death wish in fifth virtual knock in sixth and port ponky comes home in seventh and last position two non-finishes were mikey and sunny ost all right it is time for our top three of grand prix number two in third position was Mystical Ace. Congratulations. Second was Deathwish808. And taking the top spot was Iron Smeltry. He manages to knock Port Ponky off his perch. Congratulations. Knock is fourth. Port Ponky fifth. Sunny in sixth. Thomas Deacon second. Seventh, sorry. Uh, Warus in eighth. Virtual Knock in ninth. And Mikey joining us for the final race there in tenth position. 
All right, there we go, guys. Thank you very much once again for joining. It's been a blast as always. Hope you enjoyed. Um, that's going to do us for uh, a few days. We won't be back now until the weekend, possibly not even until next week. But um, keep your eyes peeled because I'm sure um, if I can't stream, I'm sure Deathwish808 will probably be doing some marbles at some point. So if you're not already, please go and uh, check out Deathwish808. The awesome dude. The awesome dude. I don't think my shout out is working. Um, let's have a look to see who we can raid. <laughs> 